So I've been given the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, good morning. And thank you very much for joining me this morning for our little presentation on Europe with Venture Holidays. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is David Dunkley. I'm actually the product, the product manager for Venture Holidays who has the responsibility for Europe. So I still say I've got the best job in the company. Now, if you haven't got a copy of our latest brochure handy, um, not to worry. Hopefully the presentation will give, give you an idea of uh, what we're at. So, our new look brochure has hit the streets. Um, it's uh, providing a few of our staff's favourite places and spaces, along with a few quirky facts. Things like uh, Big Ben in London, for instance, isn't actually the famous bell tower of the Houses of Parliament building. It's the bell. The tower is actually called the Elizabeth Tower. London's walkie-talkie building had to be modified recently after its completion, as its concave glass exterior formed a giant magnifying glass that could melt vehicles' plastic wing mirrors and dashboards. And there are 673 panes of glass in the Louvre Pyramid in Paris. Not 666, sorry, Mr. Brown. So, a quick summary of what we're going to run through today. Um, things like what we offer, uh, what's new for venture holidays for this year. Um, things like the Norwegian cruise lines, some walking and cycling tours, canal cruise tours in France. Um, some new London sightseeing, some new Paris sightseeing. Uh, I'll also just go through some of the skip the line, the small group tours that we're offering in Rome, Florence and Milan. Um, also some of the back roads tours that we've got. Then we'll delve a little bit into Spain, Morocco. Oh, and uh, one of our old favourites, Rabbi's Trail Burners in uh, the UK. Uh, we'll then go through some of the regional Europe. And uh, finally, we'll just give you a quick reminder on uh, Turkey, which is um, our GSA for Fez Travel. So what can we offer you? Well, first of all, the brochure has and a great range of accommodation, sightseeing and transfer options in the major cities and uh, right the way across the UK and Ireland and Europe. What I should say, though, um, what's in the brochure isn't exactly all that we can offer. Uh, we've got uh, access to literally hundreds and thousands of hotels through the various operators that we use. Um, I can't say that there's 100,000 100, um, hotels featured on the Calypso, but uh, we're getting there. Um, we also include uh, car hire and a certain amount of train travel, such as the passes and uh, also uh, Eurostar. Um, new, a little bit of NCL cruising, as I was saying, the walking and cycling tours, small groups in Britain and Europe. Uh, we've also got uh, the traditional coach touring in Ireland, Spain and Portugal. And uh, then some private tours in uh, Morocco, um, which uh, featuring English-speaking uh, uh, drivers. Um, just a couple of points to remember. We have, uh, as I was saying, we have access to extensive accommodation and touring beyond the brochure. And uh, we've got a lot, also a lot more available in CalypsoNet. And uh, as we go forward, we will be um, um, loading more and more hotels into CalypsoNet as well. So please keep in mind, if you don't see a hotel or a tour you'd like, um, please contact us. And in most cases, we will be able to um, find and book these for you. So, uh, first of all, cruising, Norwegian cruise lines. So this year it's uh, uh, new for us as far as Europe is concerned. As you know, we, um, we do offer uh, Norwegian cruise lines or NCL cruise lines um, in Hawaii. So we've extended to now include uh, the Mediterranean and uh, Northern Europe. So with the Mediterranean, we've got um, uh, three cruises uh, featured in the brochure. We've got the seven night Western Mediterranean, the 12 nights Grand Mediterranean, uh, the seven nights uh, Adriatic, Greece and Turkey. And uh, for Northern Europe, we're uh, featuring three cruises there, the seven night Norwegian fjords, the nine night uh, Baltic capitals, and uh, also the four, uh, 14 nights uh, Norway, Iceland and the Faroe Islands. So if we um, go to uh, some of the new sightseeing that we're featuring in London, So not only do we offer things like the traditional um, uh, sightseeing with uh, Evan Evans and uh, also uh, uh, premium tours, 
We also offer some smaller little tours and something a little bit different, uh, like a company called Small Car Big City. Um, this is just uh, sightseeing uh, with a private driver, um, not in a traditional car, but we uh, use the small Mini Coopers. Now, I'm not talking about the, uh, the, the new Mini Coopers, which are the BMW or the Rover ones. We're talking about the traditional uh, Morris Coopers from back in the 60s, the little Mini Cooper S's. So they're a lot of fun. And uh, we've, uh, we've got four tours um, or four itineraries in the brochure, things like the best bits of London, uh, live like a local in London, um, and also a, uh, a Beatles tour of London as well. But if we look at the more traditional sightseeing, the two new tours that we've got uh, included here, um, Cambridge and Bletchley Park. Um, if you've ever seen the, the TV program, the, Bletch <clears throat> the Bletchley Circle, or uh, even been along to see the movie uh, The Imitation Game, you'll know that Bletchley Park was Britain's best kept secret of World War II. It was where Alan Turing and the team broke the Enigma Code, and uh, the park is now a fascinating museum which is open to the public and forms the highlight of the tour. Another new tour is the London Rock Tours. If you're a, a rock and roll fan from the 60s or um, an Aquarian like I am, uh, you'll find this tour really interesting. It's actually taking you uh, around all the, um, um, the iconic areas of uh, English bands um, in the 60s. So um, featuring things like, you know, you could walk across the Abbey Road crossing, uh, see lots of the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and... Um, uh, classic sites. So we've got two tours. We've got a morning tour and also an afternoon tour. Uh, these can, of course, be combined into one great, glorious full day tour. Also um, new for this year um, is some walking and cycling tours with um, a, a company that's been around for about 25 years uh, called the Carter Company. Now, the, the, uh, the Carter Company, as they're saying, it's been around for 25 years. Uh, their creative roots aim to show you the hidden gems of, of the destinations, not just the highlights. So you can pedal or walk your way through the countryside and cities as you get to know the local landscape, culture, history and cuisine. And at the end of the day, unwind in favourite boutique hotels. Now, um, the tours vary from uh, gentle where uh, all cycling and walking elements are optional, uh, to the more energetic. But the focus is very much on slow travel, so using cycling or walking as a way to see a place rather than a means in itself. The routes that we follow are, are uh, as traffic-free as possible, so we're using back roads, cycle paths, quiet lanes, and most of the tours are gentle as far as distance and gradients are concerned, which makes these holidays ideal for families and, uh, and really everybody alike. Many tours also offer an electric bike feature, um, so opening up cycling holidays to multi-generational uh, families as well. So a lot of thought and care has gone into the design of the trips, and this extends to accommodation choices as well. Hotels are selected basically on quality, location, and character. Most of the trips offer a, a choice between luxury and classic accommodation. Uh, luxury trips use uh, AA, RAC awarded four and five star, or maybe the occasional three star, hotels, manor houses, old inns and boutique hotels. Classic trips use carefully, carefully chosen four star, and again the very uh, occasional three star, small hotels and inns and, if, and a few private homes. The tours offer great insider knowledge with over 25 years of experience from a secret traffic free route in the Cotswolds which leads to a tiny church with rare medieval and wall, wall paintings, to remote, a remote track in the Outer Hebrides, which rolls down into wild sandy beaches where there isn't a soul in sight. These tours will help you get off the beaten track. Now, uh, we've actually included the following tours um, in the, uh, the venture brochure. Uh, walking, we've got um, an amble around the Cotswolds, which is an eight day, seven night tour, uh, starting off at 3573 per person. Um, a hand-picked Cotswold six-day, five nights, and uh, cycling. Uh, we've got the Cotswold Village and Oxford. It's a five-day, four-night tour. And also the New Forest and Stonehenge, which is a six-day, five-night package. I think you'll find these quite good. I know I'm, I'm, I'm pretty fond of that style of touring. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it very much. Hope it sells really well. 
So we start going back into uh, some of our uh, old favourites. I was mentioning earlier about um, uh, Rabbi's Trail Burners. Again, this is a company that's been around for a few years now. Um, they have a they have a lovely uh, concept of touring. Uh, it's uh, just small groups, anywhere up to about 12 people, and uh, they offer a um, a choice of uh, accommodation, either bed and breakfast or hotel accommodation. Um, Scotland, as you can imagine from the name. But they're also now operating into England and across the pond into Ireland as well. We don't feature all the tours in the brochure. I wish we did, but unfortunately we don't have the room. But um, uh, please rest assured that whatever um, uh, tours are available through Ravi's, we, uh, we have the ability to book those as well and, of course, pay the usual commission as well. They also do an excellent range of day tours, uh, Loch Lomond and uh, National Parks and Stirling Castle, St Andrews and the fishing villages of Fife, West Highlands, Lochs and Castles, Hadrian's Wall, Roman Britain and Scottish borders, and uh, a particular little favourite of mine, the uh, Discover Malt Whiskey. That's a great tour. Those tours uh, depart uh, from Edinburgh or uh, Glasgow. So if we go back to our um, old favourites, the Backroads Touring Company, we've actually been working with Backroads for a number of years now, so we're extremely pleased that uh, we've actually extended our, um, um, we've given them a little bit more space in the brochure, so uh, we're featuring some more of their tours now. So we've got the highlights of Britain, the heart of England, Oxford and Bath, Corners of Cornwall, Scottish Journey, the Wonders of Wales, uh, Ireland, uh, the Emerald Isle, and uh, London to Paris via the Channel Islands. That's, a, that's a, a particularly great tour as well. I love that one. Now, if we hop across uh, the continent now and uh, having a look at some of the new tours for Paris, um, we've picked up a new operator uh, to um, maybe just look at something a little bit different. Um, Certainly all of the major tours are, are, are featuring all the major highlights are, are great, but we're trying to offer maybe just a, a little bit uh, more. You don't often on the major tours actually get to see uh, or mix with um, the locals, so to speak. So the, uh, the new tours that we've got here um, actually uh, feature, you know, mixing with the locals and getting your fingers dirty and so forth, a little bit of cooking classes. So we've got a, um, a dinner with a, a, a typical Parisian family, so you can actually meet the Parisian locals in their own home and share a typical four-course dinner and uh, some great conversation. So it's a little bit unique. Uh, we also have a, uh, a market visit and uh, a cooking class, so um, you go off with a Parisian chef through the markets, uh, source the food, and then uh, back to uh, a private apartment where um, uh, you'll use the ingredients to cook a full course meal and, of course, uh, sit down and eat it with, with the chef. Um, we also feature uh, across on Saint-Germain, a Saint-Germain pastry and chocolate tour as well. So you're getting into uh, some of the smaller shops and uh, see the latest trends in sweets created by chefs and um, enjoy what they have to offer. So you get to see um, uh, in the three hours uh, three different types of pastries, five different types of chocolates, and several sorts of breads in the shops that you visit on the tour as well. Now, something a little bit different here. Um, we've also uh, included a, uh, a sightseeing tour, which we've called the Vintage Paris and the Flea Market of uh, San Juan. Now, um, the flea market is, is probably, well, is one of the largest in uh, Europe. And it's actually located in the north of Paris, um, just up from Montmartre. Uh, so it's a few steps away from the Sacre Coeur Basilica and the Moulin Rouge. Um, the uh, flea market is known as one is one of the largest flea markets actually in the world. It's one of the best places to go for shopping in Paris as well, um, because there's lots of antique jewellery, furniture, old books, records, vintage clothing. Um, so it really is the perfect place to pick up a present for the hard to please and fashionista hipsters with the help of um, antique trade dealers and uh, the guide will actually take you um, around uh, the area because it, it can actually be really quite confusing. I did this tour a couple of years ago and I was really really impressed with it. It was just a different side of Paris that I hadn't seen before. So I loved it. I hope you guys will as well. So uh, also You've obviously heard of the Moulin Rouge and also the Lido, but what about visiting a small traditional French cabaret? 
Now, the, uh, the Lapin Agile, which actually means the Agile Rabbit, uh, is, is the only remaining traditional cabaret left in Paris, and uh, it's actually located in, um, in um, Montmartre. So the tour includes a private guided tour of uh, Montmartre, uh, the village. Uh, you then go for uh, dinner in a, a typical restaurant, and uh, then on to the uh, cabaret at uh, the uh, Lapin Agile. Now, this is a, it's not the, you know, the can-can dancers and everything else like that that you see in the larger shows. It's a little bit more intimate. So you've got, you've got uh, you know, the old French songs, Edith Piaf and so forth, and uh, accompanied by a pianist and an accord, accordionist or a guitarist. So, uh, and it's a, you know, it's a, it's a very authentic and rustic setting. Uh, it's really charming. And uh, the cabaret also uh, includes a drink of um, cherry wine. <laughs> Gives you a bit of a kick. Okay, also in France, we're uh, now going on to uh, include some of the um, uh, our old favorites with um, Backroads Touring. So we've uh, featured three of their tours uh, in France. We've got the La Belle France, which is a nine-day, eight-night um, tour Paris back to Paris. Um, a Taste of Bordeaux, which again, nine days, eight no nights. This departs from Bordeaux and back to Bordeaux. And uh, then Champagne, Burgundy and the Rhone Valley. Uh, which uh, departs from Paris and then terminates in Lyon. Now, something new from Backroads for this year is uh, actually uh, ch uh, a series of tours they call the their Charming Waterways. So uh, this is um, canal cruising uh, tours in France um, using uh, the um, or what they call um, um, canal boat hotels. So they're, they're, they're like small floating hotels. So we've got um, two tours here. Uh, the first one is uh, features Burgundy, uh, a cruise along uh, Le Canal de Bourgogne. Uh, this is seven days, six nights from Paris back to Paris, um, featuring a vessel called the MS Janine. Um, second tour uh, features Provence, uh, a cruise along the uh, Le Canal du Rhône Asset, uh, featuring a vessel, a small vessel called uh, the MS Anne Marie. So the, uh, they're really charming itineraries, so have a look at page 41 of the brochure for that. Okay, so um, let's, go flu uh, sorry, let's go through to uh, further afield into Italy, and uh, we do have some more um, backroads offering here. Uh, we've got uh, Italian Indulgence, the Tuscan Treats and uh, Cinque Terre, uh, Enchanting Southern Italy, Slowed food, a slow food tour of Puglia, and uh, the splendors of um, Sicily as well. So, um, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Now, I mentioned earlier about some of the small um, uh, skip the line tours and uh, smaller tours in Rome. Look, to be honest, we've deliberately um, uh, excluded the uh, the larger. Uh, tr more traditional day tours in Rome, um, the multilingual tours. Uh, although they, you know, they're, they're fairly good price-wise, but uh, they, they do tend to be a little rushed, and uh, our uh, complaint level has been a little bit high on those. So we've looked for something a little bit more alternative. So we're looking for the small um, op uh, operator tours. So these uh, tours are all fairly unique. They still do all all of the um, uh, the major sites, uh, but they are small groups, so they're only um, generally have a maximum of 12 people and uh, they, they are subject to um, uh, a minimum number of four people traveling at, at one time but they are really quite unique now uh, we've um, just highlighted a couple here the ancient Rome tour and also the Vatican and Sistine chapels tour but uh, in the brochure we actually feature some more uh, for instance there's an exclusive Rome tour by by minivan uh, th so this this van is actually able to take you into some of the areas of Rome that you can't actually go on one of the larger uh, coaches and uh, so you just have um, a, a guide along with you and um, uh, there's a, a little bit of walking involved in there as well. We also have another uh, tour called the Catacombs and Under, Underground Rome um, and also Pompeii and the Amalfi Coast which is a, a day tour out of Rome and uh, the Tuscany day tour as, as well. Um, also, if we uh, go on to Florence and Milan, uh, we've got a, some of their smaller tours as well. Um, the uh, uh, Skip the Line, David, 
to go and see the statue and also masterpieces of Michelangelo, Da Vinci and Botticelli at the Afuzi Gallery in uh, uh, Milan. And then we've got uh, the best of Milan, um, including uh, Skip the Line, uh, The Last Supper. I'm sorry, the Afuzi Gallery, of course, is in Florence, not Milan. <laughs> Okay, so let's hop across to Spain now. Um, what we offer in Spain uh, is, of course, the um, traditional sightseeing and so forth in uh, Paris, uh, sorry, in Barcelona and Madrid. Um, we've also got some um, interesting tours which uh, uh, utilize the fast, uh, the high speed trains in, um, in Spain. Uh, so we've got actually three itineraries here, a class classic uh, Andalusia, uh, which is a five-day, four-night uh, Madrid back to Madrid tour that goes to Cordoba, Seville, Granada, and then back to Madrid. Um, Spanish capitals, um, seven days, six nights, um, feature uh, from Bar Barcelona back to Madrid. So we've got uh, Madrid, um, we go th then through to Toledo, Valencia, uh, Barcelona, um, and then uh, an eight-day, seven-night Barcelona to Madrid tour. Um, featuring Barcelona, Madrid, and uh, Andalusia as well. So we're going to Barcelona, on to Madrid, uh, Seville, uh, Cordoba, and then back to Madrid. We've also now got some of the more traditional uh, coach, uh, coach tours. Um, We've got uh, four uh, tours in the brochure. We've got uh, Splendors of the Three Cultures, which is a five-day, four-night uh, tour featuring uh, Barcelona, Cordoba, um, Seville, Granada, Toledo, Northern Spain, which includes uh, San Sebastian, Bilbao, uh, Santander, um, then back down through Oviedo, uh, Gijon, uh, through to Lugo, Astoria, and then back to Madrid. Um, we then got a small tour going across to uh, Morocco, which is a four-day, three-night tour uh, featuring um, co from Costa del Sol uh, across the Straits of Gibraltar, then on to Fez. Uh, you then go from Fez to Mekmez, uh, Rabat, uh, back to Tangier, and then across to the Costa del Sol. Uh, and then we've got a, a, a large eight-day, sorry, 18-day, 17-night Barcelona to Madrid. Um, from Barcelona to Madrid, which is Spain, Portugal, and Morocco. So we go through to Trujillo, to Lisbon, uh, uh, down to Obidos, uh, through to Fatima, um, then back into Spain to Cordoba, uh, Seville, then uh, Ronda, through to the Costa del Sol, then across uh, from uh, Tarifa to Tangier, uh, through Rabat to Casablanca, then on to Marrakesh, uh, from Marrakesh to Fez, Fez back through uh, across the Straits, to Granada, uh, Granada, Toledo, Madrid, and the tour ends. Uh, these are generally uh, two, two, two language tours, uh, so the tours are conducted in the English and in French. Now, also we have uh, a couple of uh, back roads tours. Uh, again, smaller group tours. We've got the highlights of uh, northern Spain, uh, Spanish uh, inspiration, and uh, they also have a tour uh, going across into um, uh, Morocco, um, which uh, goes from Casablanca back to Casablanca. They've got an excellent 10-day, nine-night tour, which picks out all the, uh, the eyes of um, uh, uh, Morocco. On the subject of Morocco, so what do we offer here? Well, we've got the Escorto coach tours, as, as uh, I mentioned, including um, uh, the, the, the larger ones and also the, uh, the small group tours uh, with uh, back roads, as of already included, um, the Majestic Morocco tour. We've also got Riyadh accommodation in uh, Marrakesh using the Ang Angsana Riyads. And uh, if you're looking for something a little different, uh, hop up into the Atlas Mountains and go and stay with uh, Sir Richard Branson uh, at his uh, property, the Kasbah Tamadot, which is an absolutely to, to die for property. Is, is it's absolutely brilliant. I've I've, um, I've seen there. Rob Mackey, our uh, managing director, has stayed there, and it really is an amazing, amazing property. And you can do uh, walks and so forth out uh, into into the mountains from there. So, what else do we offer? Well, we offer private touring. These are um, uh, where you have your own driver, uh, an English-speaking driver, and uh, your own vehicle. So um, there's no minimums as far as numbers are concerned. Uh, we've got um, 
I'm getting a wind-up signal, goodness. Uh, we've got three tours here. Um, we feature a tour, the Imperial Morocco, which is a six-day, five-night tour from Casablanca to uh, Marrakesh that takes in Rabat, uh, Fez, and uh, back to Marrakesh. Um, a tour called the Desert Song, which takes you out into the desert area. Uh, this departs from Wazazat and uh, goes through to Zagora, uh, Erfud, uh, Mazuga, where you actually stay in uh, Bedouin tents. Um, back to Wazazat, and uh, then the Granddaddy tour, which is the uh, the 14-day, um, the 13-night 13 13 uh, tour, which uh, you can pick up from either Casablanca or Tangier, and uh, features uh, the um, the blue the blue town of Chef Shawan. Uh, we then go on to uh, Volubis, uh, Moulay Idris, through to Fez, uh, then out into the desert area through to Erfoud, uh, Mazuga, then through to Wazazat, and then up into the um, uh, mountains. Uh, so you're traveling via the, um, the, the uh, Atlas Mountains down into Marrakesh. That's a great day. That, from Wazazat through to Marrakesh, it's a fairly long day, but it really is a, uh, taking you up into the mountains, so it's very, very scenic. And then uh, you've got a couple of nights in uh, Marrakesh before heading down to the coast to Essaouira, uh, which is a 16th century fortress town. It's, it really is charming. Uh, a great little souk there. Uh, and then from Essaouira back to uh, El Jadida, where um, you overnight in El Jadida before going through to Casablanca and then flying out. So that's a, that's a Grand Morocco tour, and like I say, now with the with the drivers, they're English-speaking drivers. They can offer a social commentary, but uh, when you're in the major sightseeing areas, then uh, we uh, use private guide, guides there. So. We also, uh, of course, um, include uh, regional Europe as well in the brochure. Uh, we've got all the major capital cities. We've, um, you know, places like Berlin. We've uh, featured some uh, sightseeing tours in Berlin as well. That's a great uh, destination. Uh, we also cover all the regional areas: uh, Austria. We're going to Switzerland, um, into uh, places like Budapest, Prague, and um, into uh, Croatia, uh, Slovakia. Um, even accommodation in uh, Poland and, and Krakow and Warsaw, also uh, into the Scandinavian countries. We've got uh, Copenhagen, Stockholm, Helsinki, Oslo, uh, back onto the flat with uh, Amsterdam and uh, Istanbul. So we cover all those regions as well. And finally, uh, don't forget us for uh, Turkey as well, because as I was saying earlier, we are the general sales agency in Australia for uh, Fez Travel. We have a wonderful range of uh, guaranteed departure tours, um, so they feature the escorted uh, English-speaking uh, small group tours. They have um, also offer tailor-made uh, tours. Uh, there's also a range of semi-independent tours. Uh, a great range of um, Istanbul accommodation and day tours, shore excursions, uh, Gulay cruises, and of course their mainstay, which are the Gallipoli and Anzac day tours. Oh, computer's frozen. Okay. Well, while that's making up its mind to change, don't forget us for, uh, of course, all the other range of. Um, of products that we have. Our new range of brochures I think uh, I think you'll find is quite exciting. They've all got uh, the tips and so forth in, in the various areas. So Hong Kong, America, Bali, Thailand, Vietnam, Singapore, Fiji, Dubai, UK and Europe of course, and also uh, Africa. And uh, that's it from me. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. If you've got any questions, uh, you can uh, come through on the little chat uh, thing there. Um, if you want to hang around, I'll be here for a few moments. Um, otherwise, please um, feel free to um, drop us an email if it's a fairly extensive one or whatever. And of course, we look forward to um, helping you with your uh, client's travel arrangements. So that's it from me. Uh, have a lovely day. And uh, no doubt, we'll speak to you again on another one of these uh, little chats. Thank you. Bye for now.